hello guys welcome once again in this video I will show you how to make a chat application with the help of your C sharp windows form application so for demonstration I have made this uh, chat application which two clients can use so I have two forms one as a client 1 and 1 as client 2 and when I want to send text from here I can set text from here and it appears on the next uh, client so right here also and now it appears on the client 1 so by using this application two client can uh, talk to each other in a network if they are connected to the network then they can chat e each other so let's see how uh, I made this uh, chat application first of all I created a new project and which is a windows form application and I name it as uh, chat chat client app for example and then click ok and here I have a form now in here I have to take some of the component for IP addresses and all these things so what I will do is first of all I will take two group boxes and then I will take text boxes one two three four and the fifth one at the bottom then I take a um, list box in which I will show the list then I will take two buttons one for starting the connection and other for sending the message okay and I take labels to give labels So I have four labels now I will change the text and uh, the name of these text boxes and by the meantime I will pause the video because it will take time and I will just demonstrate all the things after that so I renamed all of my labels and text boxes and buttons also so first group box I name it as client 1 and second group box I name it as client 2 then I name the labels as IP and port for client 1 and client 2 then for client 1 text box for IP I name it as this text local IP like this okay and for the port for client 1 this is a port so I name it as text local port in the same way for the client 2 IP IP text box I name it as text friend IP friends IP and the port for client 2 text box name is text friends port now the list box which will contain our message its name is list message okay and the text box in which we will type and send our message its name is text message okay and I just change uh, the caption of these buttons one this is for start and this is for sending the message so now my form looks like this so 
just change the these text box names and message box names according to your convenience now we will go to the code section of this uh, form so first of all at the top of your program you need to import some namespaces which are these so import using system.net and using system.net dot sockets these two namespaces you need to import then just go inside your method here above this public form one and here we will declare some uh, variables so declare these two three variables one is a socket variable so write socket skt give it a variable name and end point so i declared one local endpoint and one remote endpoint so ep local and ep remote then i will go to the form initialization method where my form initialize component method is there right here and in between this method here just below the initialize component method I write my initialize component method which I want to initialize at the runtime. So just below your initialize component, write this skt, which is socket variable, is equal to new socket, and inside the bracket of this socket function, it takes three arguments one is address family. So we are going to use inter network address family comma socket type. So we are going to use socket type dgram datagram. So write this socket type dot dgram comma protocol type. We are using protocol type UDP. Okay. So just write this and in the next line, just copy this variable socket dot set socket options and in the bracket pass once again three variables one is socket option label dot socket comma socket option name reuse address and third argument will be true so just add these two lines in your initialize component wherever your initialize component method is there just below that okay now when i run the program it's it looks like this and here i need to enter the ip addresses so because i'm making this app on one computer so i need to know the ip address of my computer or local IP address right so instead of typing something like 192 dot something it's better to know the IP address by some program so you don't need to go to the start command and you need to type something to know your IP address so now I will make a method which will directly directly return IP addresses to these text boxes. So you don't need to worry about the IP addresses, which are local IP addresses. So just below your form public form method here, I will make a method new method. So name this method as uh, this private string. So this method will return string and the name of this method is get local IP. Okay, which will return string. So string I it will return IP address local IP address in the form of string which we can set 
in the text boxes right